Hi guys, Derek here from Pacific Coast Auto, and today we're looking at a really super unicorn car. This is a 1988 Toyota Crown, and what's special about this is the car is basically a brand new car in terms of the condition. It has 18,000 original kilometers after 28 years of being run on the road here in Japan. The body is a 10 out of 10, and the interior is a 10 out of 10 as far as I can uh, see. So really special vehicle here bought from auction this one's going to be sent to the usa it has the two liter one g g z e engine so that's the supercharged inline six cylinder two liter and everything underneath the hood here looks to be in fantastic condition everything is bright and clean not dusty most likely this vehicle spent almost all of its time in a garage and uh, the condition of the car really shows I'm going to close the hood and I will mention because the last time that we shot a car with this engine I mentioned it's probably around 150 horsepower. Somebody in the comments section said it's actually around 170 horsepower. I have driven uh, this engine, not this specific car, uh, and it is decently powered, not underpowered, not overpowered for the car. It is like an estate car, it's floaty with uh, soft suspension and so it's not really supposed to be a sports car. But I think the engine is well suited for it. So here's the auction sheet. They gave this a 4B. I would I would definitely change that to a 4.5A perhaps because I can't really find anything wrong with it other than the fact that it's a 1988. But considering it is 1988, it's in amazing condition. So 17,389 original kilometers. This paint is a uh, navy metallic paint. And for being a 1988 paint, it is pretty gorgeous. Take a look. The condition looks amazing and it it's a metallic paint which metallic paints from this era usually weren't this good looking also we have a metallic black in this section here and metallic black here okay so the sales points are one owner car never been smoked in original mats inside twin cam 24 valve supercharged engine original half seat covers i like to call these the grandpa seat covers they have the crown insignia on them and they're half as you can see there's the crown mark and uh, these seat covers were pretty popular in japan uh, especially for estate cars like this and they're not really popular outside of japan so that makes them that much more special when you have one uh, have them on a car that's not in Japan. So it comes with the owner's manual, the warranty papers, and seven sheets of the inspection that's done every two years. And it says it comes with the original cassette tuner. Okay, going up here, seat wear, wheel scratch, under the battery has surface rust and corrosion, various scratches and dents. And then the body here, A1, AU1, AU1, these are also small, they're not even noticeable. It does say an A2 scratch near the rear wheel on the right side and I can't find it and so apparently it's in this section here I can see a couple of mild scratches right here but they're small enough that you could buff them out so really strange to buy a car this is this clean and this old because what was the owner thinking having a car and not actually driving it especially such a nice car as this and so really glad that we could win this one see the color of the paint there is just amazing I'm gonna sneak between cars here so we're going a bit out of frame but all the plastic on the like tail lights and the trim pieces has pretty much no scratches original exhaust pipe and the muffler is clean looks like a new muffler And we're a little bit dark on this side because the sun is behind us so pardon me those are the original wheels on it I really like the the yellow fog lights that it has and the badge on the front right here says twin cam 24 supercharger has the corner lights on the front there that you can see from the driver's position. They're kind of like a corner marker. And it's super windy today, so I'm glad I brought the big windsock. 
Okay, tires were changed in 2002 all the way around and they look like brand new tires basically. They have all of their tread. They, they are even, they look like the original um, tire shine that's on there from when they were put on as brand new tires. Chrome plastic vent or uh, visors. I don't know why I always call them vents. They say crown on them. Okay, have a close look at the tail lights because it's so weird to see tail lights from a car like this that are so clear and nice. The trunk opens with uh, this one folding down. There's also an electronic button inside. Super stereo. This is subwoofer, it says. Looks like a 6x9. Okay, and then this one's an air purifier inside. Taking a look inside the wheel well. See how clean that suspension is. Now, especially somebody who comes from Canada, after five years, the inside of the wheel wells gets all rusty and stuff. So, 28 years old, this car. All the chrome handles, very few scratches in them, and all the doors pop properly, as you would expect. Interior here is pretty neat, especially in the back seat. I'll show you something really cool. So we have full power windows, folding mirrors, to that one commenter that really wants me to do that. Okay, this one here is the late model of this version of Crown and so you have a different dashboard than the last Crown that we did which was a Crown Estate. They're the grandpa seat covers. Lovely condition, not dirty at all. And then the velour seats, very much of the time. Very cool all, uh, all navy interior Crown floor mats. Super duper clean. Here we can see 17,474 kilometers. Supercharger with a little light there. The light shows you when your supercharger is starting to uh, give you some boost. So same as Land Cruisers actually, they have a turbo light that's like that. It's gonna close the door. Now everything works, the power steering, uh, the shifting, the brakes, everything seems to be in really good shape. Here we have the tape, original tape deck audio here, the AC does work. You can change ba bass, treble, balance, fader, five presets for the radio. Now keep in mind the radio uh, frequencies in Japan are different. This is a 90, uh, oh, that's AM. <laughs> I guess that shows something about the, the previous owner listening to AM radio. This is cool. Tune here, AM, FM. And yeah, the presets go from 76 to 90, nah, 89, and so, not the same as all countries. Swing vents. And so I was just listening to the Autoblog podcast and they mentioned swing vents in the one from this week. And so I was thinking, wow, the Crown has those back in 1988. Now it is only this one. There's another vent here, it's not swing. And the other ones over there are not. Okay, take a look at this. The brake release, e-brake release, still has the original plastic baggie on it. And then looking up, the visors here still have the original plastic baggies on them too. And this one here is an extra one if it's uh, sunny, you can put that there so that when you look in your mirror, then you're not blinded. Okay, and then the back seats, take a look at this. Original plastic on the back seat door cards, both sides. So possibly nobody ever sat in the back seat of this car. Climate control AC back in 1988 with dual zones. So you have rear AC and front AC for different uh, settings for the, the fan speed, but then you could just set whatever temperature that you want with a slider here. In fact, the slider is way better than the push button because when you change it, you don't have to be constantly poking at it. This one comes out with a spring. Never been used. And a little place to store your stuff. Power seat for the driver's seat and tilting and telescopic uh, steering wheel. I didn't mention that the last time I did one of these. So you unlock it here and then it has like a, whoa, there's the horn. It does work hard to push it in with one hand. So I'm gonna do it with my knee here. 
and cruise control. All right, to open the trunk, you have a button here, kind of like the new Mercedes-Benz cars. The trunk is super big and looks like nothing has been inside here except for maybe a handful of shopping bags, possibly. So there you have it. It's a 1988 Toyota Crown. Pretty much new vehicle, museum quality car. And uh, bought from auction here in Japan for export to the USA. So, kind of cool video that we were able to shoot here. Thanks to the person who bought this one. And thanks for letting us put it onto the channel. Because not everybody does. Anyways, if you have any questions or want to make a comment, please feel free to. If you want to check out our website, there's a link to that in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a nice day.